Hey guys, welcome to our channel, and today we are going to be going through our brand new to us 325 Pack 13 Wolf Pack RV. I'm still still getting used to it. This is awesome. So this is a toy hauler, and it has two slides. Let's go take a look. As we go inside, I just want you to know the max weight on this thing is 14.7 and that makes it three quarter ton towable, at least for my truck. So it was definitely a great deal. We'll start in the back of the RV. This is a 13 foot garage on the Happy Jack system. So we have, I think it's a queen size bed. It looks pretty big, maybe bigger, probably queen. Uh, and then our, our seats that can also fold out into a bed. This room is going to be our bedroom because it does have uh, its own door and we can also get to the kitchen without disturbing the kids up in the main bedroom. So another great reason that we have a, another bathroom here is so that we don't have to go all the way up to the other bathroom when the kids are asleep. We have a sliding glass door here to separate the garage from the rest of the room, especially with fumes. It's a, it's a good sound barrier. So I like this over just a random door. Okay, moving into our living room area, one of my must-haves definitely was the fireplace and the place that we got the RV from put in a brand new one in for us, so that was pretty cool. And then on the TV right here, we're going to figure out what size TV we could fit and then put in whatever size that is. Uh, another thing we think is great for the kids in the future, not right now, they're way too young, is to put in a twin up here. There's a huge space up here and it's in an L shape, so they can play it there. Um, safely on a um, on a ladder that that's in there. You could set it up uh, for them to go. For us to sit, these are full heated and massage chairs. Um, we like this because uh, it was three wide, so you can fit everybody on there comfortably. And then for eating at tables and stuff, we can uh, put a table in here uh, in our bedroom area. If we wanted to do crafts or anything like that. On some models, this pantry is a washer dryer prep area. On this particular one, instead of that, we have the second bathroom, which I think is 100% worth it. So a ton of space. And then for the rest of the kitchen area, um, it has the stove top, but it does not have the oven underneath. It has a convection microwave. So fridge, this is larger than a lot of the two door uh, fridges but we're deciding whether we want to swap it out for a residential uh, fridge or not. I guess it would just depend. We have to check temperatures and, and see if this is actually cooling the way it should be. The table space on this area is huge. We have a large sink with a sprayer and we have all this table space and then all this. So this is all the paperwork and stuff that the, that the RV came with. And I think let's go head into the bedroom. So here we are in the bedroom. It does not have a slide up here. The whole unit only has two slides and we like that because slides are usually where your RV fails. So in the bedroom, we don't have any leakage from outside if you're in a really cold climate. Um, so that being said, there's a queen size bed in here with storage underneath, pretty standard, and then storage um, up here. And you can come over here. You can see we have TV mounted. Um, and this one has an AC unit for the area up here wow. and an AC unit for the living area down there. And the, the restroom in here is pretty large. Um, a lot of room down there and also for the shower in here. And then we have a nice little vanity uh, right here. The max air fan up here and I don't know if they installed this aftermarket or if this came from factory. Which I think the max air fans are pretty nice. Okay so one thing that makes this RV super light enough for me to tow is that it does not have the automatic levelers on it. What it does have is these electric stabilizers. And actually the factory put these on brand new for us because the, the ones from the factory, uh, I guess weren't working too well. So that was really cool. Um, that's another one of those, one of those things that maybe 
uh, would have been nice to have, but if we did have them along with like an extra slide, then we, it would be too heavy for us to tow. So that's a huge blessing actually for us. This unit does have a fuel tank and that fuel tank does run the Onan 5500 generator. So we just fill that up and it'll suck straight from there. This unit did come with an electric and gas hot water heater, which is a huge bonus when we're parked at a actual park. Let's look at the propane tank holders from factory. They have this set up to only fit the 20 pounders. Uh, you can see underneath there is enough room to extend this down to be able to fit like a 30 or 40 pounder. This unit does come with the pass through. It is quite small. However, I looked up inside here. Let's maybe get it a little brighter. Up here is hollow. So we're gonna modify that a little bit to get this space a little bit bigger. Inside this front area, we have an Onan 5500 generator and Finley is sporting the batteries um, and the hydraulic pumps for the slides. This unit does come solar ready, but the plans that we have, this simply will not do. It's just not big enough uh, to push as much power as we need. Okay guys, that is it. This is the end of our tour of the baseline model 325 pack 13. I think I have that right. Wolfpack RV toy hauler. We will see you next time.